Have you been denied social security benefits? You can appeal. If you are disabled and if you have been paying taxes, you've earned your rights to your social security benefits. Call O'Malley and Langen. And remember, we don't get paid unless you win. Natalie, uh, my oldest daughter lives out in the Chicago area, just outside of Chicago, and her kids are runners. Her two oldest, uh, one's in uh, seventh grade and or sixth grade, and the other's in fourth grade, but they can't get enough, and their school uh, has them in cross country races every weekend, and they absolutely love it. Are we starting to see that here? Are our schools beginning to recognize the benefits? of long distance running for the kids? I thought, I thought our area was always pretty strong in, in, in cross country and track, and I still feel that way. I, I, they've always had a strong uh, presence. Uh, more so in a lot, and since you mentioned it, in the last few years, we've had a really strong presence in the state level, national level this year. Tessa Bear from Abington Heights is yes. our national champion. Uh, <coughs> so we've had a good resource, I think, as far as the, co the coaches and the, and the administration goes for our local area. Um, I think the big push is, uh, is, is the older community now. You know, uh, the 40, the 35 to 50 year old uh, is really catching on to this, and especially this distance, the half marathon distance. It's really neat to see these uh, these people. It's attainable to now to the, anybody now, not just a 5K, but even a half marathon. You you told me at the break that uh, the half marathon is probably the the most popular race. Uh, it is the most popular race distance in the country. Yeah, so it's uh, it's attain it, it is it's, whereas the half the full marathon is a little bit much for. Uh, where the marathon is still, that's, uh, is, is, is picking up speed as well, the, the full marathon distance, but the half marathon is very attainable by, by some, a beginner or a novice uh, as, as a lofty goal. Natalie, when, when we have this uh, half marathon, uh, how many people will it draw into the downtown Scranton, into the community? We're expecting at least 10,000 people. We'll have 2,500 runners. As of today, we have over 2,200 runners signed up, and we're still three months to go. Wow. And without doing any paid advertising or much promotion at all. So um, 1,200 of those that are signed up so far are first-time half-marathon runners. Wow. And I suspect if your granddaughters were running, you'd be there to watch them. <laughs> I so sure would. Every runner will bring two or three people probably to watch them run. And I, I don't want to neglect to say that we're so thrilled about this, particularly because the proceeds of this event are going to the benefit of the Lackawanna River Heritage Trail for further trail development. And uh, Matt and Mayor Chris Doherty came to us a few months ago to see if we would mind if they did this event and gave us the proceeds. Wow. So, of course, we're absolutely delighted at the Lackawanna Heritage Valley. We're Matt, grateful to that. Thank you on behalf of the whole community. It's terrific. But it's going to be a lot of fun, isn't it? It is going to be a fun weekend. Yeah, we have a kids race uh, after the half marathon goes off at, at 9 a.m. We have a free kids, uh, three, three races actually for the kids, uh, three different age groups. And they will do a quarter mile around the track in Memorial Stadium. So we have Ryan Leckie there, our local personality, to kind of MC the whole event. So it'll be fun. Uh, so we're really looking forward to a fun weekend. Uh, so, uh, and we can't thank our sponsor. You know, it's been really neat to see the, the response of the local community because it is, uh, whereas Steamtown Marathon draws from from all over the country, where the majority of the um, participants are from outside of, of the counties. We're, this is more of a, the, the registration is very local, so it's really neat to see the locals uh, turn out and not just the, the participants, but the local sponsors as well. Geisinger is our presenting sponsor, so Ge Geisinger Heart and Vascular Institute has jumped behind this right from the get-go, and we can't thank them enough for, for getting involved, and uh, it's going to be a really fun weekend. We're really looking forward to Hopefully it doesn't rain or snow on us, but mm -hmm. we're crossing our fingers. <coughs> I had a brother, Bill, who was quite a guy, he passed away a couple years ago, but he and his daughter did the New York Marathon, and she convinced him that he had, he really had to practice, and he was a heavy, heavy smoker. So uh, his practice was one time for four miles to see if he could complete it in an hour without getting too winded, and away he went on the New York Marathon. After about seven hours and being passed by countless wheelchairs and blind runners and, and others, uh, he finally made it to the end and he wanted to call his brother, Judge O'Malley, and let him know how proud he was that he'd made the marathon and got a medal. He was nice. there before they closed the That's clock. Fantastic. And uh, lit up a cigarette and passed out on the spot. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, th that, that's the O'Malley 
experience in, in marathon running, although my, my sister Mary ran in the marathon two years ago. I think ago. Mary has signed up for this race, I'd, actually. I'd be I was willing looking to bet at the roster the other day, and I'm pretty sure Mary has signed yeah. up for it. So and by the way, we have, out of 2,200 people, 1,300 women. The women outnumber the men quite a bit here. And although Matt mentioned that most of the people are from Pennsylvania, 22 states are represented so far wow. in this marathon. And as I said, 1,200 first-time runners that we know of. Now, Matt, how, how do you get the word out to all the different states that, that It's a have different world now. With social media has been, you know, I'm still learning about it, but it's, it's, it's really with Facebook and all that stuff, it's something can really take off fast. Um, so it's really been a, a social media type of thing uh, more than anything. Uh, email blasting and stuff like that helps. Um, so uh, it, it's, we saw it work for our store when we opened up uh, a few years back and how, how powerful that can be. And it's, it, it, it utilize, it's uh, working for, for an event like this as well. Matt, I want to talk a little bit about the store and about the activities down there. You mentioned a, a run in the cold this weekend. What's it Shiver called by again? the river. Yeah. Shiver by the river. How far will that? Uh... Well, there's a couple distances. There's a two-mile walk if you want to walk it. It'd probably be coldest if you walk it. You're probably better off running the 5K or the 10K, which is also available. So, so yeah, 5K, 10K, and two-mile walk. Okay. And, and uh, how does that work? It's pretty light. Uh, you know, it, we, we do, we're involved in so many races around the area that are, are made for, you know, go for a big cause and everything. We keep this pretty, when we started off, it was, it was $3 and $5, depending on which race you want to do. We're just trying to get people uh, out in the wintertime. Now it's up to $10, $10 and we're, we, we find every year uh, somewhere to give the money. Um, uh, we've given money to a trail. Uh, we've given money to a ver ver variety of places. So uh, it's still, it's mostly about, about getting people out the door, you know, we don't, uh, so uh, it's, it's fun, um, and uh, we'll see if it snows. It's supposed to get a, a, a dusting overnight, I think. We'll see what happens. And it starts at what time on Saturday? Tomorrow it starts at, uh, it'll go off at 10 a.m. Okay. Yeah, 10 a.m. Registration opens up at 8.30, and the last shiver we usually jump in the, in the river, too. <gasps> oh, so boy. So we, uh, we did that last year, and we're planning on doing it again, to, a little plunge, so. That's that one's usually not everybody a crowd. has to jump in there. Not, <laughs> you know, it's not mandatory, but uh, yes. You know, Natalie, that trail has done wonders for the river as well. And, and I mean, the river, it's, it's been a great symbiotic relationship. Uh, I know we've walked the trail and you see the fishermen in the river and you see the water coming yeah. by. And it's, it's, uh, it's such a far cry from when we were growing up as kids in the hill section. And, it's really amazing. And uh, sewage was, was flowing freely into the river. And, we didn't know there was a river downtown. Uh, and we have to give a lot of credit to the Lackawanna River uh, Corridor Association, LRCA, our, one of our major partners. But we and the LRCA have cleanups at the river. We have wonderful volunteers, and we're always looking for more. We call them our ambassadors in action because we're all about the, the river is our heritage. It, it's Unfortunately, it was desecrated by the great industries that made this place so uh, affluent 100 years ago. But um, we're bringing it back, and it's now in pristine state. It's a trophy trout stream. Uh, people pay for guides to take them along the river. It's clean. It's beautiful. And uh, as you know, there are kayakers yep. and canoers and runners. And, of course, I like to ride my bike when the weather allows on the trail. I can go a little bit farther on the bike than I can <laughs> on foot. And M Matt has a lot of running groups that pass me by both ways when I'm riding my bike on the trail. That's great. That's yeah, been ideal for us. When we come back, I want to I want to have you show our audience where the trail is going to go. And uh, Natalie, then I, I want to talk to you a little bit about some of the other exciting things that are happening. And I know we're going to ask Michelle Dempsey to come in in a couple weeks and talk about the iron furnaces on Roaring Brook. So please stay tuned to you be the judge. I'm Todd O'Malley with the law offices of O'Malley and Langen. If I say accident, what do you think? Car crash, falling down the steps, unexpected events. People don't realize most of these accidents aren't really accidents. They're injuries caused by careless third parties. So if you've been hurt at work, call O'Malley and Langen. 1-800-817-COMP. 1-800-817-2667.